Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be looking at and drawing from photographs of sheep online. I'm doing this to try to get the idea of what sheep look like rooted in my um, uh, memory so that when I try to work from imagination, I can be a little bit more accurate to life. Now, I, these aren't supposed to be beautiful ske um, sketches. They're just supposed to be rough sketches to give me a general idea of what sheep look like. This one I'm doing mostly for the uh, value, the shading of how the sun hits the fur, the fleece, and less for the actual a structure of it. Okay, here are my three sketches. Neither, none of them are that great, but that's not the point. And so, yeah, I think that they'll serve me well. So, I also wanted to show you while I'm at it, what I put in my pencil box. Okay, so this is just a generic uh, box that you can get anywhere, of course. And, um, here is a ruler I like to have. Uh, it helps me measure stuff if I'd like. This is a pair of uh, dividers. 
And these are pretty important um, if you're trying to be precise in proportions. And they work really great if you are drawing humans based on the system where you measure the person and by how tall their their proportions by how big their head is so you can measure the head like this and then you can transfer it like that anywhere else on your page so i don't use these as much anymore uh i'm less particular about proportions as i used to be but it's a good thing i like to keep a hard eraser like this or a pink pearl kind of eraser and also a soft one like this which is good for picking up uh, smudges and things and then my favorite brand of uh, pencil is this brand right here which is uh, Tombow it's a Japanese company and I just like them pretty well I also have you saw me drawing with a, uh, here it is. Oh, well, who is this? Can't remember. Oh, this is a Derwent. This is a Derwent pencil. And so I like to have a range of the hardnesses. This is a 7B, 4B, 2B, H, 2H, and then this is a 6H. So, okay, if you don't know, Pencil hardnesses go from B being the softest and then the higher number the softer it is H being hard and the higher number the harder it is So let me show you real quick um, This is the 6H That's the line that it makes when you just push to do a simple line and this is the 7B So those are opposite ends of the spectrum um, so anyway, uh, I also like to sharpen them this way because it exposes a lot of the lead and then you can do a lot of side work, you know, work where you work on the side of the lead there. Um, what else? So I put them in here and then, uh, I don't want them to rattle around. So I just take this piece of cloth and pack it in there. Well, this cloth works well, um, for a kind of tr if I'm interested in smudging out some of the work if I'm doing values and I'm oh sorry if I'm doing value and I really want that to be I just want a more smooth look then I can come in here and smudge it then it gives a better a, just a different look to it. Then you can come in with this and erase out of it. Or this one will work similarly. Anyway, uh, that's my pencil box. That's my video for this week. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please consider checking out some of my other videos. Bye.